Guys, what's up? Tony from the Outsider Channel here with you once again. Right now, currently, I'm at June Lake overlooking some of the most beautiful landscapes I've seen in a long time. There's like two, three feet of snow, soft, good stuff. I met Mammoth this week for a couple of days for a work event. I want to talk about today's ride, but let's switch up locations so I can show you a little bit more of the snow because I'm doing some scenic driving right now and this place is magical. So pretty, so quiet. Shh. Anyway, let's dig into today's ride. Today's ride is at Bonelli Park in San Dimas. And the reason I'm doing that park is because, well, one, I haven't featured on the channel. Two, you guys have been asking a lot in the last few weeks, where are some great beginner to intermediate rides? I've got a bunch on my channel, Marshall Canyon, uh, Fullerton Loop, just to name a couple. But you guys should dig into the library and check those out. But today, I'm doing one for you guys. Bonelli Park, I'd say, is an overall blue system. Uh, there is some technical terrain in there. I think there's a black trail in there with some uh, tech rock features that they do races on. So we're gonna dig that out. I usually um, like to do the intros after the rides, just so I know what you guys are in store for. Uh, this time I'm not, I'm gonna do the ride when I get back from here in two days. So this is what my plan is, and hopefully it goes according to that. But only park, seek out some technical riding, um, do a big loop and show you guys what it has to offer. It goes around an awesome lake right in this recreational area. So there should be some rad views. So without further ado, I'm gonna head back up to the main lodge here at Mammoth and my truck right over there because it's freaking cold. Anyway, let's finally get to the ride. And just like that, out of the snow, into the sun, let's take a look at where we're at right now. We're currently parked at a San Dimas Avenue trailhead right here. And we're already starting out with a pretty epic view. So without further ado, I'm gonna put my crap on and uh, let's get on the dirt. All right, first things first. Gotta know where the hell I'm going. Looks like I'm crossing the street. And we're taking a left down this bike path. I hope. I don't know if I'm on the wrong side or not. <laughs> it might be. Because there's a bike lane on the uh, pavement right there, but... I saw dirt. All right, we're on the right side. And then we're gonna bang her right and get the hell off this highway. There's some muddy pockets on the way down here so far. I hope these trails are gonna be rideable. I did ride this one time. I don't know if there's a reason I never came back here, but I remember it being a lot of fire road, pretty good climb, and it led me into some pretty bizarre areas, like behind a water park. Looks like there's a bit of a shoot. Wouldn't say that was the gnarliest shoot I've ever done, but a shoot nonetheless. Oh, I love the bridges. It's muddy here. It's muddy. Did a little bit of exploring and took a left too early down just like a gross mud trail. This is pretty deep stuff. The bad kind. If you guys saw my rain video, this is the kind of mud, kind of conditions you don't want to be on. It's sticking to my tires. The more I'm on this trail, the more terrible it's gonna get for my bike. So let's get the hell off of it. Oh, here it comes all over me. Mud to the face, get a little mud mask in the way up. Keep up on my beauty game. All right, we're headed uh, down up for Beehive. Sorry, it's hard to talk right now because my bike is just feeding me mud. Oh my God. Look at that. The trail took a dump on me, for sure. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully, once we get out of this zone, the sun has dried some things up. It did not. And that's why I'm jumping in here with you guys really quickly to give you a quick update. As you can see, this ride is not going according to plan. And to be honest with you, the first half of this ride just plain up sucked. I don't recommend doing it. I'm saying that right now because I did it. It's all fire road, ups and downs. You're doing a lot of effort for not a lot in return. If you like single track, if you like downhills, you're not gonna like this half of the ride. I'm gonna pick up this ride halfway through in the other end of the park, and I suggest starting your ride from around this area. This is where the ride gets fun. Forget about that other crap. Now we're talking a little single track here. Oh, come on. <laughs> right when I say that, you love your fire road, Benelli. Mr. Benelli, let me tell you something. Hopefully you got more in store for us. The viewers are depending on you, Mr. Benelli. What can you do for us, Mr. Benelli? So I'll tell you what, definitely paying my dues right now to get to somewhere. 
Mr. Benelli. I don't know about you, when I say Mr. Benelli, I picture like a short Italian guy with a mustache, like a thick broom mustache, like my Mario Bros. It's me, Mario. All right, guys, we're jumping off this road onto this trail. All right, down here is that single track. I think there's two of them. One's called Corkscrew and one's called Rocky Hill. Let's take, uh, let's take the left version right now. Let's see what Corkscrew has to offer. I know they do races on this area. I've never been to one, but in my research of uh, looking this place up, this section is definitely used the most in the park for riding. Yeah, this is the stuff we're looking for. Whoa, chunky chunk. Whoa. <laughs> Went from fire road greens to some gnarly stuff. Kind of caught me off guard. Whoa. Whoa, the man. <laughs> the rain definitely washed a lot of that away. All right, Mr. Benelli, he's been hiding out. He's hiding over here by the single track. Mr. Benelli, you're redemmed. Is that a word? Redemmed? I'm not sure if there's a climbing trail to get back up that, and I don't have time to hike back up that right now because we're losing daylight, unless something pops up right now. All right, screw it. I'm climbing up Rocky Hill, but it also looks fun uh, in the rocky sections to uh, ride back down. I think we're gonna do corkscrew again though. That thing was just one massive downhill rock garden for like a full minute definitely caught me off guard and spooked me because my brain was not ready for that. Corkscrew round two. Not the fastest line right there. That trail is so fun. The thing doesn't let off from once you hit that section until you're out. If I had more time, I'd climb up that at least once more. It's about 3.30. Daylight savings is still in existence. I should have known better. I remember the last time I was here, once I got to that section, it's like I completely forgot about the first half. Right now there's this section where we kind of go out of the park for a little bit and do a wind around. There's like a water park, some other stuff. I'm gonna pop over into this guy. Ah, pretty in here. Yeah, definitely stay on this side of the lake, which I haven't even shown you yet. So hang tight, we'll find that freaking thing. It exists, it's over here. Look, there it is. There's the lake. We found it. I'm just kidding you guys. Come on, we gotta hurry up. No time for dad jokes right now. Sun's going down. We got a few more miles to get the heck out of here. You never know what Benelli's gonna do. He giveth and he taketh away. Critical part of the ride now. Let's see if we can keep our feet wet. Okay. We've done it. Guys, we've crossed the creek. Mr. Benelli, I don't know why you put the creek there in the middle of the trail, but thanks for the safe passage. All right, from here, we're gonna get on the road, bang a left. Mr. Benelli has provided an extraordinary amount of parking for you across the entire park. He's very welcoming, that Benelli. I see the lake and it smells like the ocean, which I don't know if that's right. I don't think freshwater lakes are supposed to smell like low tide. I want to give Benelli the benefit of the doubt before we get there because it looks pretty. See that? They look nice now, but they get real mean. They hiss at you. They have no patience for you and your bullcrap. They do not want me to take a thumbnail 
and they are not shy about it. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm just taking a photo. Then you could have your space back and crap all over the place. I don't care about that. Just taking a photo. These guys won't stop following me. I'm gonna go around you, it's okay. I know, the hiss is like the danger time. I don't wanna mess with you, don't mess with me. Thank you. Guarding a sidewalk, I'm surprised he didn't ask me for a toll. <laughs> oh my God, that is funny! See where we end up. Raging waters. This is where it gets confusing. I feel like I'm doing the Fullerton loop right now with you guys. For those of you that know, you'll get that joke. All right, we're just crossing the street here. I missed this poppin' right here, which I think is Benelli Trail and North Shore Trail because it's named two different things on the map. We are literally on like a bizarro Fullerton loop because look how many options we have. Let me look at the map. Yes, that's a good sign. The Benelli loop, I don't think anyone's ever said it's the quietest ride. You got the uh, 57 blast and pasty on the other side. You got an airport on this side with low flying planes. I am just a beehive of complaining today. Yeah, I'm calling it like it is, letting you guys know. If you want a trail ride with appreciation stations and peaceful off the grid getaway style. Don't come to Benelli. So after checking the map for the 67th time in this ride, and I've about had it with Mr. Benelli and his antics, he's gonna kick me in the gillet. Let's see if Benelli's got a little something for us on the way out. All right, let's get one. First water park, Mr. Benelli appreciation station. Let's get it. Decided to throw one to Mr. Bernelli because he's not done with us yet. I did a little uh, trail hunting on Google Maps on the way out. I found a plateau up here with two off map trails, one of which looks like it's been ridden today. If I'm gonna pick between that one and that one, I'm gonna go the one with the tracks. Ride blind into some who knows whatsies. The thing about off map trails when you find them is that those are usually the gnarliest ones. So let's see what we have here. There's a huge drop off on the left hand side right there. A lot of exposure. Hidden by some bush. I'll take it. Hell yeah. Rad way to end the day. Sun setting in the foreground there. Thanks, Mr. Benelli. You ain't as bad as I said. This road leads us right back to the parking lot. As for you guys, thanks for sticking around. Glad this ride turned around. As always, thanks for letting me bring your map to life. Come check this place out. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. New videos every week. Like if you like likes. Comment below. I get to every single one of them. I'm Tony from the Outsider Channel. I'll see you next week.